Hello, it's Michelle Eaton here. Today I'm going to show you how to back up or clone your WordPress website or blog. It will take around 10 minutes or so, and obviously, as with anything, the more you do something, the quicker you'll become. So, why would you want to do this? Well, to me, it's really obvious, but just let me explain for those of you who are wondering. It takes time to set up your website or blog your settings and plugins um, and so if we can back up and clone these you won't have to do it all over again. You can reinstall very easily if your site is hacked or your database gets corrupted. There are many plugins that claim to do this both free and paid and I do plan to test some of these out at a later date. Um, and then I will recommend the best free and the best paid plugin that I have found. Also, your hosting provider may offer this service too um, in the control panel, uh, but again, I've not tested it. So that's just another thing for my to-do list. This way, doing it manually, I know it works and I want to show you this way first. So what I'm going to do I've got a site called birminghamhairdressers.co.uk I'm going to clone this site or back up this site and I'm going to move it over to a new domain that I've purchased recently. That domain is called ihatedieting.co.uk There is nothing on it at the moment, I've just bought the domain name I've redirected the domain name servers to Bluehost and now it is a parked domain on my Bluehost server. So we're going to take all the files, copy them over to the new domain and see if that has worked successfully. Now the way I'm going to do this is through my hosting cPanel. I host with Bluehost and it uses a standard cPanel interface as many hosting providers do. If you don't have this, it can still be done via FTP. This is just an easier way to do it using cPanel's file manager. So we're going to scroll down and click on the file manager icon. You can choose the web route and click go. So the first thing we're going to do is find our public HTML folder. Now that should be highlighted here on the left hand side. If it's not and your folder directory is collapsed like this, just click the little plus sign and scroll down you'll find the public HTML folder. Now if you've only got one website you will have installed this on the root. Your public HTML folder is the root. So you will find your website on the right hand side here. But as I've got many add-on domains, I need to find the add-on domain that I want to copy or back up. So I'm going to scroll down and look for Birmingham hairdressers and there it is there. So I'm going to click on the folder, the little blue folder next to Birmingham hairdressers. Double click that. Now if you look on the left hand side here, we can see we're in the root, the public underscore HTML, forward slash Birmingham hairdressers directory, which is where my add-on domain is installed. And what we need to do is select all of the folders in this directory except the CGI-bin folder. We don't need that file, it's not being used at all. So now we're going to select the first folder. We're going to hold down the shift key and scroll down to the very last folder in that directory. Keep the shift key held down and left click the bottom file. So now that we've got them all selected we come up to the top here and we click this little icon that says compress and then at the bottom here we can name it what we want so I'm going to call it site backup dot zip and then click compress file 
and that takes a few minutes. When it's finished, we can simply press close. So now we're going to come up and we're going to select reload the page. And then we're going to search for our zip file. And here it is, site backup zip. Now with this zip file, you can uh, come up and download up here and download that onto your own computer. Uh, and that's your backup file that you can keep to upload later if you do get any problems. But what I'm going to do today is, um, is copy it over to a completely new site and clone it. But it's the same, it's the same uh, difference really, it's just the zip file used in a different way. So what I'm going to do is find the folder, the add-on subdomain that I want to copy the file to. So I'm going to look on the left here and I want it to go to the I hate dieting co folder. That's the directory where my new site will be. So I'm going to left click here on the site backup.zip and I'm going to drag it to the I hate dieting co folder. So now if we double click that folder There we can see site backup.zip. So now we're going to select the file, come up here to extract, click extract file, and click close. And now we can see all of the WordPress files are in our new domain. The next thing we need to do is create a database. So we're going to come back to our Bluehost C panel and we're going to scroll down to where it says databases and then we're going to click on my SQL database wizard. And here we create a database. So I'm going to call this one hairdressers temp and click next step so now we need to create a database user so we'll call that hair1 the username and for the password we'll have hair123 and we'll create the user. So now we've created the database, added a user to that database. So now we want to copy this information at the top here. So we'll right click copy and we're just going to pop that into a notepad. So the next thing we want to do is check the little checkbox there, all privileges, and then click next step. So now we can see that the user hair1 has been added to the database hairdressers temp. So now we're going to come back over to file manager and in I hate dieting directory we go into search for wpconfig.php and there it is there. So we're going to click on the file and we're going to come up to the top here and click edit. And we're going to click edit again. Now I'll pause briefly to delete some of the personal information that was in this file. But what we're going to do is get the information we paste it into our notepad. The first one we need is the database. So we're going to copy that and we're going to put it here where it says db underscore name. Now we have to put it here in between the two apostrophes being very careful not to delete one of the apostrophes. So 
you can either control V or right click and paste. Pick that line back up. Next one is the user. And I'll control V that into there. And then we want the password. Control C. Control V. Now the MySQL host name stays the same at localhost, but we need to put in another couple of lines here for the WordPress database. And these are to say what your new site, the site you're copying to, is going to be. So in my case, that is I hate dieting. .co.uk. So if you copy down exactly the way these are structured and just change the site to the site you are copying to. When you've done that, come up and click Save Changes. The final step is to come back to the control panel, click on C panel. And we're going to scroll down to databases and this time we're going to click on PHP My Admin. And here I log in to the PHP My Admin with the same login credentials as I use for my cPanel hosting account. So now we're in the PHP My Admin dashboard and on the left hand side here you can see a list of all the WordPress installs that I've done on my hosting accounts. So these are all my databases, they're not known to particularly user friendly and so what we need to do is go to each one, I've looked previously so I happen to know which one I want to look at and we click on it and this opens up another screen that shows us the tables within the database. So we come up and we click on WP underscore options. And if we look over to the right here, we can see the site URL. So the site we want to copy is indeed birmingham-hairdressers.co.uk. So that's how you go in and look um, at what database you're actually looking at. So now that we've checked we have got the right database, we're going to come up the top and we're going to click on the middle link here, the database. And then we're going to come over to export. And we're going to click go. And now we can see down here that our file is downloaded. So now we come back over to localhost and we select the name of the database where we want to import the file and the database I named, I created was hairdressers temp. So we click on that and as you can see at the moment there's no tables found in this database. So we're going to come up to import, we're going to browse our computer, choose the file and it went to our downloads, there it is, the SQL file and we click open and we click go and there it's telling us the import has been successfully finished. So all that remains is to come over and check out our new site. I hate dieting.co.uk and there we have it. So I hope that's been useful. That process can be used to back up and replicate clone an existing blog. This is Michelle Eaton and I'll speak to you again soon.